In my video about Sister Location, I discussed that this was the huge turning point for the Five Nights at Freddy's series. The gameplay structure was very different, with a lot more of a linear story. The themes presented separated this game from the others. More characters were introduced. It was a point in the series that seemed to introduce more sci-fi elements. But there's one thing in this video that I chose not to talk about. Not because it's irrelevant, not because I don't like talking about it, it's because it is super relevant, and I do like talking about it, and I wanted to spend a whole video talking about it. Today, we are talking about the thing that changed FNAF forever. Something that seemed like something simple in Sister Location, but actually played a bigger role in the following games. Something that holds the core values of the games and still scares me to this day. Something so beautifully presented in the series, I'm getting excited just introducing it. That's right everyone, today we are talking about something I have been wanting to talk about since I started making FNAF videos. In fact, I started making videos in the Sister Location era, and my theories were absolutely shocking. And Scott Cawthon even said so himself, that the whole game is canon to the book. So, the big question, who, who, who are you? It's clear that you're related in some way to these characters, otherwise you wouldn't hear the commentary of this girl. And I'd like to say that the evidence all points to it being William Afton himself. But I've needed to come to terms with this topic. I've needed time to think, to make sure that this video was as perfect as it could be. In fact, I started scripting this video 17 years ago. It's been hard. I've had fluctuating moments, oscillations in motivation, pain and agony. I've had people tell me that I can't do it. People have pulled me down, but I got back up. And now, we're finally here. It's all led up to this moment. This will be the best video on my channel forever, and nothing is ever going to change that. So, without further ado, let's finally talk about the topic of this video, which is going to be really fun to talk about. My heart's racing, so give me a second to breathe. Okay, here we go. We're talking about exotic butters. That's right everyone, what are exotic butters, why are they important, and why am I so excited about them? Those are all examples of terrible questions, and you should be ashamed of yourself for even thinking about them. So, let's start with the first section. Exotic Butters has been key to a lot of the series from Sister Location onward. If you somehow aren't aware of what this is, Hand Unit asks you multiple questions throughout the nights, and one of them is how you would like to be paid for your work. You select the correct answer, Exotic Butters, and when you go back to your place, there it is. It's looking over you with its devilish grin. But that's not the only place it's been. In the survival logbook, we see that Michael has drawn some exotic butters next to a basket of money. Under the money, he says this, and under the exotic butters, he says not this. Very obviously, this is referring to what Michael has such a hatred for. We know that Michael despises money, he hates capitalism, and that is why he hates his father so much. It's also why he gets fired after only a week of working in the FNAF 1 and 2 locations. He wasn't actually fired, he resigned, fired himself, and that's because he was earning money. Instead, Michael wants exotic butters, as evident by Sister Location. I can take this one step further. As we know, Ennard is looking for the perfect human to use as a skin suit. Why was Michael the correct victim? It's because they both share a similarity. Ennard is very clearly drawn to exotic butters, just like how Springtrap is drawn to sound. When we finally have exotic butters in our room, Ennard comes up to join us for a bite. He's not necessarily after Michael, he's after exotic butters and really needs a friend to hang out with. Because you know, he's the only animatronic there now. He ate his friends like in Pizza Kit. In Ultimate Custom Night, we have the Toy Chica's high school years cutscenes, and on locker number 22, we can see a drawing of exotic butters. On locker number 11, we can see the words exotic butters. This is interesting because 22 is 11 times 2. I I'm just saying. Maybe the 11 times tables will be able to solve the FNAF law. In FNAF VR Help Wanted, we have exotic butters always watching our every move. 
And on top of that we have collectibles such as a 15 ounce can of exotic beverage which is smooth, tasty, incredible and contains 200 calories. And then we have butter for one. As I said, exotic butters are always watching. They are omnipresent, omnipotent, omni-exotic and omni-everything else. They're everywhere. You think they aren't in special delivery? Wrong. Check it out. You can see them right here. I told you, they are listening. And they are going to kill your whole family. <laughs> Speaking of which, there's an arcade game and security breach called Butter vs Pickles, referring to the pickle jar and pizzeria simulator, but we all know that the butter is going to win. And of course, years later from the actual events, the exotic butters are still in the sister location room in security breach. I wonder why Michael never ate them. At least they don't go off. For FNAF's three year anniversary, we got a development image of Exotic Butters. Actually, in this image, it's titled Exotic Margarine, but really, who on earth cares whether it's butter or margarine? I have no idea what the difference is, actually. Here, we get a more clear view on the full thing. Around the outside of the basket, you can see a red bow, and funnily enough, this is the bow that Mangle puts on for FNAF 2. Clearly he loves exotic butters too, but she should be careful with that. On the inside of the basket, there are exactly seven sticks of exotic butters. And as we know in Five Nights at Freddy's, the number seven is very important. So yes, exotic butters are everywhere. This really shows the impact that they have had on the franchise, but it doesn't even come close to the impact they have had on the universe. Exotic butters are cool, but you know what's cooler? Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity. People always say that MatPat is the best FNAF theorist, but really, he's actually got nothing on this guy. Einstein discovered E equals MC squared, which obviously stands for exotic butters are equal to munch times crunch squared. I don't know how he came up with that. Genius, really. You see, there's a pretty big problem with the universe at the moment, and that is the fact that just the core existence of exotic butters creates an interdimensional rift that shatters the space-time continuum. Each butter of the seven butters in the basket represents a pillar of existence. The first butter represents light, the second represents a firmament, the third represents growth, the fourth represents the skies, the fifth represents the seas, the sixth represents life, and the seventh represents, like, nothing. I guess it's just a tasty butter stick. There's no need to look that deep into it, guys. Come on. And as you can see, this creates a direct parallel to Christianity and the seven days of creation. Scott Cawthon, being a religious person himself, clearly intended this. As you can see, these seven butter sticks of reality also match perfectly with the games. The first, light, is referring to the flashlight that we have to use. The second, firmament, represents the aura of the pizza places and how they are haunted. Growth is about remnant and restoration. The skies and the seas are very clearly about the books Blackbird, Felix the Shark and Submechanophobia. The sixth, life, is about how nobody in the series can really die. And the final one, the eternal nothingness, relates to Golden Freddy. I shall not elaborate any further. Essentially, the 11 or so dimensions of space and the singular dimension of time has been theorised to essentially coincide as a netting across the entire universe. Gravity affects the shape of this netting and therefore the moon orbits the Earth. I don't really like this theory though because I don't think the books are canon. The main problem is that exotic butters exist when they shouldn't. I think the question that most theorists these days are trying to answer is what is it that makes exotic butters exotic? Well, my thought, at least, is that it's because it was gifted to Michael from a higher power. And who do we see giving Michael the butters? None other than Hand Unit himself. Yes, my friends, Hand Unit is the Five Nights at Freddy's overlord. He lives in a land of exoticness. He only likes the 11 times tables, and the butters are a gift to the world. Albert Einstein was wrong. Exotic butters do not create a rift in the space-time continuum. If there's anything you must take away from this video, it's that exotic butters are a gift, not a rift. Exotic butters have had a cultural impact on our society. For example, the Exotic Butter Remix. Exotic Butters.
exotic butters. Exotic butters. Exotic butters. Exotic butters. Exotic butters. Exotic butters. Exotic butters. But 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 exotic butters. But but exotic but but exotic but but exotic butters. But 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 exotic butters. But 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 exotic but 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 exotic but but exotic butters. Exotic, 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 but hey, that's all I have time for today. This video has been 53 years in the process, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Remember to stay safe and enjoy your exotic butters at home. Remember that exotic butters are a gift, not a rift. Also, have a great April Fool's Day. Yeah, if you didn't realize already, this was uploaded on the 1st of April. Always check the fine print. Wait, it says here on my butters that they contain human flesh. Huh. Damn, that's even better. See ya. Oh!